Hey, is this weird? I don't have my I don't have my beanie on. <laughs> eh, new haircut, new year. Hey, if you've been with my channel for a while, you might remember I did a Kodak folding camera, the Primo, uh, shooting with that for the first time. This is part two, but not the same camera. This is a bigger Kodak folding camera. Here we have really, really pretty. It's so steampunk, it's not even funny. Let's look at it. What is it? It's the Kodak. 3A Autographic Kodak Special. It just looks like a train. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at that. It has like a kind of a face to it. It's smiley. Anyway, uh, but this is this is way bigger than that other Primo Kodak folding camera. Um, I can't. I didn't measure the size of it. I think the last one was like. 6 by 12 or something. I might have said it in the last video. Um, but this is a bigger frame. And I have... This isn't the first shoot with it. I tested it out a while ago. And it actually came out really cool. It was broken inside. So we had to put another rolling bar uh, across it. So it didn't leave uh, scratches on the negative. So I have, I've been photoshopping a picture I took and it had just some crazy scratches through it and kind of ruined it, but I've been, you know, doctoring it up. But anyway, I put some film in it, so we're going to go shoot it. I'll show you how I put film in it at some point, maybe right now. Let's look at it right now. Well, I took an old roll of film and then put it through here and, and made kind of measurements and counts of turns. So, you're going to want to get your start arrow to the center of the frame, put the, put the lid back on, and then it's going to be 15 half turns to get it to your first uh, exposure. I'm going to go ahead and give it, wind it up, so we can take it out and shoot. many people do it? I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Shutter speed 500. We're gonna take two shots because I don't know. I'm pretty sure we're on the first frame and it's fully over the ex the, the frame or the exposure the exposure area. But we're gonna give it a go anyway. Dude, it's such a wide shot. I don't know how this is gonna look. Here we go. Shot right 
bridge when and see what we get. To disappear. My life's been wasted by your side. Time to leave you far behind. Say what you think and do what you say. It doesn't have to be that way. It won't last. An unsatisfying shutter. Unless there's a mirror in it, like Pentax or the Mia. It's a really unsatisfying. so cold and then they're warming back up they feel like needles and knives and they're just it so much pain like I, I felt sick to my stomach when they were heating back up that was really cold it's I just was underprepared for the wind chill um, and that was a bad idea riding my motorcycle it was dry so I figured hey let's do it but yeah <laughs> don't do that. be prepared um but anyway so we got them all developed they're not bad i will say you got to make sure when you're shooting with this that the eyepiece what you're composing with um is level you can see from the images that the first one was fine, I must have had this pretty level, but then the second two, I did double expose uh, the bridge, but both of those, the bridge and the motorcycle shots, were hega wonky. Learn from mistakes, right? In case you want to know, the camera sizing and where you get the spacers, the, the website is camera hack. IT. This is a 122 to 120 film. Yeah, I will do an update on what I was advancing, how many counts of half turns I was advancing the film from the negatives. Uh, there was a lot of space between each shot. Probably enough where you can get four exposures on a 120 film roll um, so instead of eight instead of nine I think I was doing eight and a half which I don't know why I cut, said eight and a half but nine half rolls probably get away with seven that's probably a safe safe number seven half rolls if I have a shot in mind and I'm shooting film and I need a panorama there you go get these for pretty cheap and uh, with a little fudging you can get them to work. You will want to make sure uh, do some air blowing and stuff before you load the film. That first frame oh my the dust on it. Now it could have been a human error when I developed it I didn't I, I have no idea. It could have been dust in the development tank. I, I don't know. I pre-rinse I pre-rinse the film before I 
put developer on it, so I, I would assume that would help get dust off and everything, but... So much dust! Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, next week, we'll be doing some personal work from the summer where I go to the beach with some friends and try some stuff I don't usually try. So see you next week. Mm -hmm.